So step number five is evaluate your business versus your personal lifestyle and, and really think through what's your margin for error here. There's only so much cash to go around, right? Um, and, and making a lot of money typically means spending a lot of money. Look, none of us do what we do for free. It's okay. I, I like toys every bit as much as you do. I like nice restaurants. I like nice vacations. I like living in a nice home. And yeah, my daughter goes to private school. So I'm, I'm kind of the poster child for this. But if you're going to build a growth business, you do want to get very real and very clear on how much you make and how much you spend. If your lifestyle that has fixed debt obligations or are fixed expense obligations um, is taking, if that lifestyle um, is dependent upon you taking all of the money out of the business, then you've got no margin for error. And I would encourage you that you gotta, you gotta make some cuts somewhere around your, your personal lifestyle. Because when you start to grow and scale your business early on, every entrepreneur will tell you that they took an income hit to do it. It starts with them replacing themselves in a clinical role. Now you've got to pay an associate to do the clinical work that you once did that you're no longer doing. If you're going to take on more locations, you're going to take on more debt service to do it. And again, there's just only so much income in a business to go around. And if you don't have any flexibility or if you're living at, at maximum, then that's probably going to put undue burden on, on the business and, and more stress on you. You know, the goose only lays so many golden eggs. Uh, and, and you've got to plow some dollars back into it to feed it. And that's really the right mindset, especially early on in the process to making these businesses be successful.